Trisha. I'm very sorry about your loss. It's your fault! I can't even imagine how you must feel. Your children. Mincing. Mincing. Are safe now. I thought they heard her crying. And they feel the sting of her tears. They will. And she will come for them. Who? La Jordona. I just saw the curse of La Llorona last night and I don't know how this movie got a 28% on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't know how this movie got a 28% on Rotten, on Rotten Tomatoes. The curse of La Llorona. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I don't know if I'm saying uh, La Llorona right, but um, this film, I don't know how it got a 28% on Rotten Tomatoes because this movie right here, I didn't see nothing wrong with it. I didn't see nothing wrong with it. This was a good horror film. Like, I could see why most people like this film. Because I don't know how the critics don't like this film. But most people like this film. The Curse of La Llorona. And this movie was, this is a Conjuring Universe movie. And this is my first time seeing this movie. I've been meaning to watch this movie forever. And people and people has been telling me this movie is really, really good. And I seen it last night and the jump scares were unpredictable. It, it got me almost a couple of times. I'm a, I'm a hard person to get to be scared. I'm a hard person to try to scare. I'm super hard. I'm a super hard person to try to scare. It didn't scare me, but the jump scares was like, whoa, okay, that was unexpected. So they did a really good job with that. The storyline was great. The acting was really good. And the um the way how <laughs> and the way how the problems was resolved, I was like, oh okay, that was that was kind of a, a new way how to how to solve that problem. But it was it was a really cool film. Now the main actress, the mother, the social worker, what's her name? Uh Linda Cardellini Linda Cardellini. No, I'm actually a big fan of hers because she is a really good actress. She plays as um she's in the MCU. She plays as a uh, Hawkeye's wife. Um, she may have seen her in the Scooby Doo movies back in the day. She played as a uh, Velma, and in here she play in here she plays as a as a social worker, and she's a mother of two kids. Her husband is passed away. I I think that was her boy. I think she said it was either her boyfriend or her husband, but her significant other passed away and basically she's raising two kids all by herself and she's got a really nice house with a big pool and she's a social worker now now she's a caseworker for this lady who's also a 
for a, who was also a mother of two kids, two little boys, and this this lady was trying to protect her children from La Llorona. And the caseworker goes in into her apartment and basically she's acting weird and stuff. She's been her caseworker for the month. The caseworker, the social worker's been the lady's caseworker for four years. And and she says she know these children, she know her, and then she, she knows that they can be saved. So one day she goes in to check on them with a police officer because they said there's been a report that something's been wrong with her and, and she's doing something to the kids. So she shows up to the apartment and, and the lady's getting real vibes right up, getting, she's giving off weird vibes right off the get go. And Linda's, the social worker, she goes in, she said, let me come in this apartment so she goes in, the officer stays in stays outside, and she goes in and she said, Where's the chi- where's the kids? Where's the children? But the lady's not saying nothing. So the social worker is walking around and she sees this door in her bedroom. There's candles lit everywhere. There's candles lit everywhere in her apartment. Like there was some type of ritual or something like that. And she goes into this her bedroom or something like that, into this room. And there was a closet, and there was a marking all, it was like a big eye, and there was like marks all around on the closet door. Of course, the caseworkers look like, what the hell is this? I don't know what this shit is. So she, but the door was locked. She's, so the caseworker was trying, was, was investigating the door, and the woman walks in and says, don't go near that door. Get away from that door. And then the catcher was like, what the hell is this? Who is in there? And then the lady starts tripping out. She has a hammer and she was about to knock she was about to lock the social worker. She was about to knock the social worker out. And that's when the police officer came in. I don't know how the police cop I don't know how the police officer came in, but he's a police officer. He he must have came. I don't know how he came in, but he came in, he he comes in, he saves the social worker, and she grabs and the social worker grabs the keys from the lady and she unlocked the door the closet door and it was these two kids trapped inside the closet and she asked the two kids why are you in this closet she says so she won't get us and when the kids say she they talking about Lana Rona of course the social worker don't doesn't know what they're talking about so the woman so the woman the the lady of the two boys that were in the closet she ends up getting separated from the two boys. The boys ended up staying in the foster home. And then the social worker promised the two boys they would be safe. Eh, not really. So the boys, they they woke up in the middle of the night. And they said, we are not, the boys kept telling the social worker, we are not safe with Lana Rona out there trying to get us. We are not safe. So... They're in this foster home, and basically, in the middle of the night, her the the little brother saw his big brother was in a trance, and basically he was walking down this creepy down this creepy he was walking down this creepy ass hallway, and and basically he followed he was following his brother, and then Lana Rona got both of them. Lana Rona got both of them, and then. They got both, not only one got both of the boys, and then later that night, the caseworker, the social worker got a call, and the social worker got a call, and she said, uh, no, the, the social worker got a call and said the two boys are dead, drowned in the river, and the caseworker, the social worker went to go to the, uh, to the river, and she brought her two children, I don't know, what well, I, never mind. I was about to say, why did she bring her two children? Now that I think about it, I, I see why she brought her two children because two children can't be in the house all by themselves because she don't have a babysitter. So she brings her two children along with her, and she told and she tells her son, her son and her daughter. Her daughter is sleeping in the car. The social worker daughter is sleeping in the car, and she tells her son, "Do not come, do not, do not come out this car. Stay in this. Do not, do not get out the car. Stay in the car and leave." your sister alone let her sleep so 
the social worker went to go investigate, and the two boys were were, were drenched red, wrapped around in the in a wet tarp, and they they drowned. They drowned in the water. Lana Rona drowned the two boys in the water. So the uh, the mother of the boys, she saw them, and she she ends up freaking out and she tells the social worker this is your fault this is your fault and throughout this movie she didn't pray to God she didn't pray to God for um for the social worker children to get God she prayed to Lana Rona for, the, for she prayed to Lana Rona to get her two kids so I should say that's one reason why Lana Rona started going after the social workers kids but here's another reason why Halan Rona went after the social worker's kids. The little boy, remember I told you the social worker told her son, do not get out the car. It's the middle of the night. He gets out the car and, tr and goes see what the hell's going on. And then he hears crying. He hears crying and there was Lana Rona crying in the alley. And she looks at him, turns at him, and then basically... The way how Lana Rona gets you, if she touches you, you're marked. And she tries to get you. And the story, the backstory of Lana Rona, she wants to get your kids. And and she was this most beautiful woman in Mexico. And she had a lover. She had a lover and she ended up having two kids with him. And she had two boys. Lana Rona had two boys. And then she found out her lover was cheating on her and she decided the order for her to get him back is to take his kids also her kids and drown them in the water so she's known for drowning kids in the water that's her go that's her go to she drowns the kids she drowns her own two kids in the water and i'm still a little i still don't know how lana rona was killed or did she I think she killed herself I don't know I gotta watch it again but she ended up drowning her own kids and then I don't know how the curse came up on up upon about it wasn't really explained that well so I I can see why and how this movie was liked by Kurt wasn't liked by critics because uh, it wasn't really ex explained that well on how the Lana Rona curse really happened because uh yeah she drowned her two kids and but still it doesn't really explain how she she got upon this curse and she ended up cursing people for many years and throughout this movie so yeah there's two reasons how the social worker's kids was getting got now so basically the social worker played by Leonard Cardellini now she starts to go through what the lady was going through she starts to realize why she had all those candles lit in her house why she had that protection uh why she had those mar markings on her closet why she why she put her two kids in the closet because so lana Rona wouldn't get them but she the the social worker ends up getting help from this priest who was a priest but he went off on his own journey and he said and he ended up putting lots of candles and stuff like that, raw eggs and everything. And and then throughout the movie, throughout the end of this movie, the kids, they started doing, <laughs> they started doing stuff like, you just say, yo, what are you doing? You're causing your own death right now. Why aren't you doing what the adults are, are, are telling you to do? And it was a good ent entertaining film. And the way how Lana Rona, the way how um, the ending went where Lana Rona gets killed or she gets to hell or whatever. Basically, the social worker takes a carved out cross that was carved out that was carved out that was carved out in a of a tree, the same actual tree that um that Lana Rona was cursed under that that she was never allowed to go to or something like that. It was something about a tree that this cross was carved out of and basically she takes this cross and stabs it through Lana Rona and Lana Rona is gone. Her children is safe, her children is protected and 
Lana Rona is gone. But like I said, I, it still wasn't explained that well on how Lana Rona was, was cursed and how, how she got the curse, how she was cursing people throughout the years. It still wasn't explained that well, so I can see how this uh this movie wasn't liked by critics but this was still a good film I've, if i had to rate this on from a from zero percent to 100 percent, say if i was around tomatoes i would have gave this movie probably a 75 or 80 percent so from my viewing you know how i rate movies from one to ten i will rate this movie I get this a seven point five. I get this movie a seven point five. Yeah, like I said, like seventy five percent. If I was Rotten Tomatoes, I would get this like a seventy five percent, eighty. But I'm not Rotten Tomatoes, so I get this my own rating. So, well, on a scale of one to ten, I get this a seven point five because this was a good film to me. This was a good film. Lana, the Curse of Lana Rona was a good film. It really was, and it's on HBO Max. If you guys want to go and see it, I definitely recommend this to people who's uh who's into horror and stuff like that and this most definitely is a rewatchable movie it really is so uh yeah this movie was really good i enjoyed it i really enjoyed it and i'm gonna be watching this movie again just but it's still not the best movie in the conjuring universe the best movie in the conjuring universe is annabelle creation and i will do a movie review on that shortly in the future but the Curse of Lana Rona, I give this a 7.5 out of 10. 7.5 out of 10, most definitely. Post comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of this movie review. Please leave a like, subscribe, and share. And please comment down below. If you guys have any requests, I will do them. If you guys have any requests on movie reviews, trailers, pranks, whatever. If you guys have any requests, I will do them. And stay tuned for my book, The Prodigy, that's coming out on Memorial Day of 2022. I will see you guys next time. God bless. Bye.